is up everybody we are doing grip incorporated today good friend chaotic old boar who as my wife would say is not chaotic or a boar and she would say just like that and as always i have my wife with me with uh our halflifesister.com merch pick some up for yourself support the channel support us support both channels and you can support both channels by also going to the Patreon. Patreon to 500, everybody. This is where you can do your requests. We got over 150 reactions already there for you to view. The moment you sign up at any tier, you can see all those videos, but certain tiers you can send me requests. So check out the details. You'll see it all there. And uh, yeah, Chaotic, what you got for me, man? Grip Incorporated. The second song on the 1995 debut album, Power of Inner Strength. All right, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing three songs from them. You say this consists of Gus Chambers on vocals, lyrics, writing duties, Waldemar Sarachta on guitar, backing vocals, and music writing. Bass is Jason Vierbrooks, and drums are the legendary Dave Lombardo, fresh off of his split from Slayer. Who doesn't know Dave Lombardo? Interesting fact, you got my pop dolls over there, and I've got the Slayer set, and guess who's missing from the Slayer set? Yeah, that's right. Dave Lombardo, not a pop doll. <laughs> I don't know if it was a licensing, licensing issue. I don't know if he didn't give his permission, but he does not have a pop doll. So my Slayer has no drummer. Sad, very sad. All right, so today we are doing three songs. As I said, we're doing Torque de Muerte. Seen a lot of Spanish vibe, which, you know, Dave is Cuban, so I guess that doesn't really surprise me. Um, that's the first song on the album, and he says it's a tribalish drum solo kind of thing, and it works well in kind of transitioning into Savage Sea Retribution. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can find, like, if they have the whole album, so I can just play them one after the other. And he says the next part is pure aesthetics. The ending of Savage Sea is a perfect lead into Tack 3. Did I say Tack? Track 3 hostage to heaven and realistically all three should be listened as a chunk now i am a nerd when it comes to stuff like this so i understand that on certain albums there are songs that really work well together like if you're introducing someone to master of puppets you should really play battery before that you know what i mean it's just the right thing to do which is what i did on her channel now on top of that i'm looking at it here grip incorporated ostracized is another request you made for this coming month, February, but I got the full album from start to finish here, so I'm just gonna let it play and we're gonna see where the vibe takes us. I feel like I'm listening to Neil Piet. there. It just makes sense to start a Dave Lombardo project with drums, right? That's just logic. Come on. This is thrashier than I was expecting.
vocals, man. Like that Fear Factory repetition. This is groove metal. This is, this is what throwing me off. This is this is thrash, baby. And you definitely see kind of like the uh, the Slayer kind of rub off, but you also get like kind of a little Testament vibe. Definitely brings me back. elementary school. Fuck, I want to listen to this whole album. It just might.
every time Dave just starts taking over. It just the song takes a whole new dimension. Fantastic. I'm just gonna keep this going. I know I'm gonna get in trouble. And I know I'm gonna definitely have to break it up. It's just if I'm being perfectly honest, I haven't listened to some old school, like really good thrash in a while. And it's got such a nice, I mean, I know it's from, uh, mid 90s but it still has got a nice kind of fresh sound to it When listening to Iron Maiden, they have the bass up real good. They got the drums up real good on this. The perks of being in charge. can't be mad at that because listen i listen to gore right like did i lose tracking why i keep losing tracking did i do i like I, I guess i gesture too much so that it turns the tracking off because this stopped it maybe i should you know what i should do is when i set it up turn gestures off another thing to remember to do i need to make a checklist but um yeah i listen to gore so i can't like judge <laughs> putting too much information because it's the grossness of that statement every orifice filled with semen because you need to 
like just just saying pedophile and how awful it is sure like you get the point but part of what gore did so well was being a commentary on society the shock value of those statements it needs to shock you right it's a shocking thing and we get too desensitized so by constantly trying to outdo yourself with these type of lyrics it's there designed to provoke your mind and obviously dumb people will always get offended by that because of, co of course they think it's bad but i mean that's the real offense no word can describe what's actually happening here you get what i'm saying that's what that's what makes this so necessary yeah and this is interesting because it's like the last song it's it's funny that the religious song had the most slayer vibe <laughs> <laughs> like obviously not an accident but interesting that you can make evil songs that don't necessarily have anything to do with hell because the evil is already in what we're doing to our world what we're doing to our minds brainwashing ourselves with religion and basically you know a lot of these things are tied in together you know think about the pedophilia in the catholic church for example you know Think about how if you believe in God, well, wouldn't God protect the earth? You know, why do we have to do so much? Or, you know, it's just it, it, it's all kind of tied in here. So it's a very interesting through through line. But I'm going to stop it here because, again, I am going to get in trouble with YouTube. I do want to hear this whole album, but I, I'm going to just go to your next song, the one you requested, my friend. So far, I'm loving it. Obviously, this is just bringing me back, bringing me back to the old times, man. But I'm going to specifically pull up the the video version so I can see them actually play. Okay, from 15 years ago. All right. Yeah, yeah. I have um I have a playlist, a new playlist that I made because there are some bands where they have albums that I just listen to front to back. This might be one of them. Like rating these individual songs may not be necessary. So let's check out this one. But I may just end up putting the whole damn album into <laughs> into my full album playlist because sometimes when you're in the, just in the mood for a certain sound, like this has a very sp specific particular sound, and you know it's like you know what I'm in the mood for. I'm in the mood for some old school badass thrash. Shit, now we got white zombie going on. Hey! <laughs> 
right. You know what's impressing me? The variety on this album. Like, it seems like they're covering every possible subject. Because now here we are on talking about the vets. And what's also impressing me is that depending on the subject matter, the sound changes, their sound changes. You're right, this was a different sound from the other, more of a strut walk style, right? White zombie style kind of chugging along. Every song matched the vibe of what it was singing about. It's interesting because it's like, this is, I mean, I don't know if you can call this a side band, it's a side band anymore. You know, they said it was Dave's side band, but once it becomes your, your main band, you know, typically when you're a band, you, you create a certain sound that you want to maintain. For example, Slayer, Iron Maiden, like, like, you know, them, you can hear them coming a mile away here. It seems like they are more flexible because they want it to be more relevant to the song. It's like, it's, it's just interesting that you're, you're changing kind of the vibe of a song, depending on the lyrics of the song. It makes sense. I just don't expect it from like a thrash band. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, but I should from some, you know, someone with that kind of a pedigree. So this is interesting because, you know, I talk about religion and politics and all this stuff all day long on other reactions. And, you know, I haven't done any reactions to Five Finger Death Punch, but I know that they cover this subject matter as well. And this subject pisses me, pisses me off. A lot of things piss me off. And you see, I did the thing where I opened my hand up and turned the tracking off. I don't even know where to begin with this. It pisses me off so much because it's like there's there's on so many levels. We fail veterans every single time. World War I, World War II, Vietnam, the Gulf. Every single time we find a new way to fail veterans. And it boggles my mind that anyone would go to the army and seriously, straight up respect for those that still do because they look at the greater good or the, the, the necessity because as as awful as it is, it is a necessity to have a military only because others have a military and you have to be able to defend yourself. So if you're going to have a military, best that you have the best one. But the idea th that we continuously fuck over our vets when all is said and done, knowing how important it is to have a military boggles my mind, boggles my mind. No veteran, regardless of when they served, should ever be homeless. By default, they have earned their place in society. They should have free health care. And I know they have the, the veteran hospital, but we know, you know, I don't know how it is today, but we know how bad it's been in the past. I've known veterans who become handicapped and they would find ways to avoid covering them. Men who were twice my size and I couldn't pat them on the shoulder because it hurt them too much. And the VA would say it's in their heads. What, what, what the fuck are we doing here? By default, even if it's in their heads, they get treatment by default. No questions asked. That's what you get for putting your life on the line. I don't care where you served or what you did. I don't care if you were making cupcakes in the bakery. Okay? If you enlisted, you get the perks. Period. Otherwise, don't have a fucking army. Okay? Because if you can't take care of our people, what are we doing? What are we doing? This should be by default. So yeah, under the bridge, homeless shit, any of this, all the PTSD and all the exposure to chemicals that governments want to deny, like infuriating, utterly infuriating. What more can I say? I mean, we're, we're as a society, we're just like, yeah, fuck are we supposed to do about it, right? But there's things we can do, right? Look at John Stewart. This man single-handedly shamed Congress in order to give first responders health care. 
pathetic. Pathetic. There's so much richness in the world. So much money. So much money in Congress, in the government, in lobbyists. So much millions and billions of dollars being thrown around to win an election. All this money wasted. Oh, fuck. Absolutely infuriating. Thanks, Kayla. You see what you did? <laughs> yeah. Any year. You know, this is 1995, right? Any year. Pick any year. Okay? We've been making songs and talking shit about this forever. How much has really changed? Absolutely pathetic. Okay. That's... The hell... You get my point. Anyway, I love you guys. Chaotic. Thank you for introducing me to this. I am going to... I'm going to listen to the whole album. Because it's weird. It's 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 hard for me to, like, pick an individual, individual song that I liked from this album because they were all so different. And they all had different reasons for me to like them. So in a case like this... It goes into my perfect album mix. All right, enough being stupid. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for sharing in my rage. And uh, let's let's stop voting in dumbass politicians who continue to put money as a priority and fuck over everybody else. French unions cuts power. Watch Secular Talk with Kyle Kalinske. Watch Vouch. Don't listen to what people say about Vouch. Listen to Vouch, okay? Form your own opinion. But hear the man speak for a minute. Jeez. The man's got some good points. Watch Z-Laner and Doc for entertainment. <laughs> what, what am I doing? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is what happens when you share your screen. Okay. All right, guys. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. I will see you on the next one. Keep it metal. Goodbye.